welcome to Retro 70s Kid, wherever you are in the world. Tonight, I'm doing part two of my vintage dollhouses. I've got seven in all. I've shown two before in episode... We'll put the episode number up just here, just so you can go back and have a look at the vintage tin dollhouses from the uh, 60s. And I've got three tonight. They are original Lumbies from the early 70s, early to mid 70s. This is a blue box, late 60s, early 70s, and the one behind it, which you will see clearer later, is a 2006-ish modern Lumbie. So to start with, this is a, a very collectible line of dollhouses, the Lumbie. It started in, Swedish company started in 1947, and they were the first dollhouse company to introduce a low voltage electric light system into their houses. Most of them always have an adapter at the back where you can stick in the adapter and you can buy lamps and lights and everything and light the whole house. This doesn't have it. Because I got this at a car boot for $10 a couple of years ago and it, it it's a doer upper. When I got it, it was filthy. It actually had a wasp's nest growing on the back wall in the bathroom. There were no wasps in it, but there was a full on dirt wasp's nest and the flooring is missing. And I had great aspirations of doing it up, but um, it never happened, so I'm going to sell it on. But um, since it's been cleaned up at least, it's very presentable, it's still very sturdy. So I've just filled it with um, all vintage furniture just to show you. If it was mine, it would be more, the furniture would be more matching. Like I wouldn't have the, I think this is 80s wooden furniture. I wouldn't have that if this was going to be mainly plastic or vice versa. But just to show you, I put a few pieces in. The carpet's still lovely. And it's missing the railing from the back corner here. And these are the steps. Um, some of them, there was a railing here and there was a balcony on the side here, but mine isn't that addition. And some dollhouse, old vintage dollhouse furniture. I'm not sure what era. 50s or 60s, I'm guessing. Can you see the dad? And they've got wireframe bendy bodies. And the door's open. Maybe from the other way. Yeah. It's missing a door here, but that's okay. Doesn't have any curtains. But someone who'll buy this can do it up beautifully. It's still got some, most of the original wallpaper. It's just missing the flooring from these two rooms. And these are two different dollhouse figures. Again, I'm presuming they're vintage. I'm not sure because they look it. But they're a smaller bendy plastic figure, just like the, the lady in the kitchen. With all 70s vintage furniture in that lot. The dollhouse collectors, this is a very prized piece in, in the collection. There was a, another one. Um, I can't remember, the Gottenberg it was called, and it was beautiful, and it was the the, uh, the prize of you know, dollhouse collectors who like Lombie. Um, so that's that one, it's still got the chimney, it's still got its windows, so um, when that's done up, if someone does that up, it'll be beautiful. Doesn't need much, actually. And then this one here, if you notice, they look very similar, very similar design. Um, this would be a copy of that. This is blue box, it's all plastic. I prefer it because of its size. It's so much smaller and easier to display and store than these giant things here. Um, this one, uh, I remember when my cousin had one of these when I was very, very little. And I quite liked it and I saw it on eBay and um, it had some furniture with it. But when it was released, it actually came on a plastic mat and it came with fencing and some trees and outdoor setting and a swing. and. Some of, some of these people that like that you see inside, but these people are reproduction O scale train set figures. But they're just like the old um, Marks and Blue Box figures. And there was a dividing, there is a divide, well, the wall's still there. There was a, a cardboard dividing wall here, which I just unhinged and pushed against the back wall because I wanted, it was just easier without having a wall here. So I've made that one whole top room. And if ever in the future I want to put it back, I can easily pull this wall back to make it the kitchen wall. 
and that's full of some beautiful vintage furniture. A lot of it being, which came in, I've used some of this. It's a little disarray because I've taken it off the glue. I have shown them this, this in my other dollhouse show, but uh, this is an original set from five rooms from back then. And I've used some pieces in there. This furniture, as you see, they even copied the lumbi, that blue chair. That's an original lumbi piece that would go in this house. And Blue Box copied them completely, the bat wing chair. They, they, uh, Blue Box basically got all of Lundy's furniture and just miniaturized it, which is what I like about it. It's the same, but just so much smaller. And then some of the pieces came from this style line back then. Like the, um, in here, the, the kitchen is from this style line. That sideboard uh, desk is from this style line. Um, the hutch. The lamp and then all the other very vintage pieces are this original blue box and you can see there's still some chairs in that packaging I'm giggling and shaking the table <laughs> If you knew what the cat was doing. So as you're going through this, having a look at the close-up, you can see I've tried to make a diorama. Um, this, the original set did come with the outdoor setting, but I've improvised and made this one. I know the chairs look a little bit too modern, but they're so cute and small I had to use them. Um, these sun loungers are from the Vintage Marks Hospital set. There was a tin hospital there from the top of that. Um, the bird baths new, the cool flamingos are new. I thought they were a nice touch. Of course, the, the, the greenery, none of that's vintage. And I made the pond, that little pond I made. And that blue set in the middle is not blue box, it's another brand, but it was the same size. I can't remember what brand it was. And that, oh no, it's not that television. Tree's falling down. Oh, now it's going to start falling apart. And just around the side here, there's just a cute, that's akin to surprise. Oh, stop falling apart. That's akin to surprise Vespa. And that's a, a garbage bin. I know it's not of the era, but it was so cute and small, I had to use it. And just the fake trees, which are really nice against them. So that's, oh, and the car. I have got smaller, fi larger figures at the front for perspective, because um, the car is a little bit bigger. So I've just used these figures. That's why I don't have any of the small, these ones in the front yard. But this car I've shown before, but that is an amazing tin. Well, it does work. And that's the box that it came in. So I just thought that design, that style looks really nice in the driveway of this car. So that's where it's pretty much lived its whole life. Gee, the inside's dusty. So that's the beautiful little blue box. Oh, did you see the little cat? And the little, uh, 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 the dog. There's a little picnic basket. That's just a little block which is trying to be a doll's house. That is a little camper, which is paper. It's from the printables, the dollhouse printables. Just like the little games, the kids are playing games. They're, they're miniature board games. That's Monopoly board on the back, or Monopoly box, which is tiny. You can get all different scales from the printable site. The carpet in that room, which goes nicely. And of course she's washing the car and her mother's pruning the bushes and her friend's saying hello. And the back wall is just white brick. You've got yellow brick on the side and white brick at the back. So I think that's a lovely cute little doll's house with some beautiful, very expensive furniture inside it. So now I will cut to the next one. And in regards to this one, I wanted to point out the little television set. It's not vintage, but it looks vintage. And if 
you could possibly press the button it shows static like they used to when the um, stations used to go off at midnight. Isn't that cool? So that's that. Now going on to this, this is a Lumbee as well. It's their new modern stock home which came out in 2006. Very different to this one but the quality is still up there. It's quite amazing. Now it's called the stock home but it looks like a beach house to me and it actually looks like the decks of a yacht. Like you could pretend it was the decks of the yacht. But this is beautiful. And one of the main features of this, if I can, look at this. It's a pool, isn't that amazing? So you've got a whole pool area, look at the little tiles. So this is three rooms, but it's actually five if you include like the decking. But one of the lovely features, well this also has electricity. The walls open up and slide in out of the way, which is an awesome feature. And you can see the plugs and the lights. And that's one of the wall lights, which would, some kids ripped it off, but that would be a wall light that would light up. So, and then these open up. It does have a bit of damage to the back wall where they've ripped some pictures off. And it has discoloured a bit, but this could be done up beautifully as well. I mean, it's not that old really, but it does have some fading. In the bathroom, that opens up and slides in. Leading up to the deck area, leading up to the sun deck. Now I don't have furniture for this house because um, a few years ago this house was three to four hundred dollars brand new. It was ridiculous, but looking on eBay tonight, I saw it was about one hundred and eighty-four dollars and about twenty dollars postage. So that's not too bad. But to buy all the beautiful new furniture that goes with it will cost you two to three hundred dollars to furnish it. It's that expensive, but it is beautiful. It's very well done, but so pricey. Just the family little family of four is thirty dollars plus. 20 something dollars postage so um but still this would be great for little brats the little brats perfect for this and if we put a few oh, topiary trees around these match it beautifully so yeah isn't that lovely Lovely outdoor area. And it's got nice carpet, it's got nice... Oh, that's a door, that's a door that slides open, that's right. That. Nice fake wood decking. And there's actually also a trellis, you can't see it on this side, but it's a trellis for vines to grow up. So that's the 2006 um, Lumbee Stockholm. So I'll sell this on, I did have aspirations as I said of getting the furniture, but I, I just can't be bothered. It's just too much and you never see that stuff secondhand. This uh, to buy, uh, it cost me $10. That only cost me $10, quite unbelievable. Um, about a hundred and, no. One was 40 something with postage, the other one was 900 and something was with two, 200 and something postage. So it was so expensive. This you rarely see anymore. And uh, the last one I have seen with this and basic furniture, was about $70, not including postage. So I think when I bought it a few years ago, it might have been 17, something like that, with a bit of postage, but it was only within Australia, so the postage wasn't too bad back then. So um, that's about it. So I will be doing my last big dollhouse, which is a giant, it would barely fit on this table, and it's about that high, and it has two giant opening doors, and a chock full of beautiful 60s, 70s vintage, furniture it's amazing so that's coming up so that's it that's the uh, Lumbee dollhouse collection part two um, go back to episode 27 if you found this interesting and have a look at my tin vintage tin dollhouses the marks and the Chad Valley and we'll have something different coming up very shortly don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for joining me and good night
Hello and welcome to Retro 70s Kid, wherever you know thy side, slow that, I'm going to start again. Oh, hello, Bruce. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just sit, 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 sit and look beautiful. Sit and look beautiful. Come on, I just need you to sit now. Sit down. Sit, 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 sit. No, 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 no. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Now, <laughs> furniture. And well all the beautiful vintage. Well done. See what you've done. You put a spanner in the works. You do it. <laughs> and then it's full with this beautiful vintage blue box furniture. Can you get off? So that's it, my lovely Lumbee and blue box doll houses. Um, thank you for joining me. It's been a rather quick one tonight. So thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe and what else do I have to do? That's about it. Thank you and good night. <laughs>